Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinkers here. I gotta get some of my projects done. I'm uh, out of room and I don't want to spend any money right now. So I need to work on some projects. So today, I want to get this stuff off my floor, which means getting stuff off my table saw, which means fixing stuff. So um, what I got here is padding for my boat. And obviously I didn't do a very good job on it. It's not gonna go very well, but it's actually this side up, which is nice and padded. But this is supposed to be bow, so it's supposed to be curved. And I think I used half-inch ply. I'm going to have to go through. I think I have some thin stuff, like quarter-inch. I'll have to go see what I'm going to do. But first I need to get this padding off, because I might as well reuse it. So, uh, two long, narrow pads, two short and thick pads. And this black thing hopefully will turn into a... Uh, shoe rack for my front closet to get the shoes up stacked a bit to try to just get more room in there be able to put more shoes in there because I now have two Tupperware tubs full of my wife's shoes because she has so many so gotta get some work done I need to find my screwdriver I got one around
Alrighty. <laughs> now you know why I never get any projects done. Let's see, what did I work on? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, right. Uh, got the backing off the one bumper I for the boat I've made. Uh, cut out the wood. Realized my staples that I specially bought for this boat are too long for that wood, so I'm having to buy sh special short ones. They're stainless, and uh, the local hardware store just doesn't carry them. Uh, as you can see, I have several projects sitting on my workbench drying. Uh, this is my, uh, what is it called? Chair, uh, no, shoe rack the front closet so I've got two shelves I only painted them just to seal them and I used a sharpie on the front why because I don't care if they're sealed <clears throat> the sides are painted I realized when I was at lunch that's why I'm wearing a different shirt now is I really should router the corners just so they're not sharp and they look slightly better I mean it's not gonna look great but it's in the bottom of a shelf so or bottom of a closet so what do I care and then I have my boats table Old one, new one. I uh, used silicon uh, sealant uh, caulking to attach the carpet to the, the the plywood that I had previously cut and glued and all that kind of fun stuff and trued up. They're ac it's actually the exact size of the old one, about a quarter inch too thick. So I have a decision to make: Do I want to get more new edging? It needs some sort of edging to keep the keep it looking good and um, hold the carpet on. Make sure it doesn't come off. Uh, the old edging is too small. Two choices: get new. Shouldn't be that difficult. I should be able to get it. I'm not 100 percent sure where. Maybe some just U channel from Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. And a uh, little work to make sure it's all smooth. Or I can router a step on the back. That's not a problem. I'm going to paint it anyways. That'll get the edging to fit and it's just a little thicker than it originally was which is not is fine because the uh, hinge sits on the back not on the edging. Well it's kind of both but it, it doesn't really matter. I, I can make it fit. I can make it work. So I'm, I'm just going to sit and think on that one. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I made the new backing for the bumpers, which, as I said, I need new staples, so I've got that on order. I thought I had it all, because nowhere around here carries stainless. Um, I made the backers for the actual seats, which I was originally going to use uh, my leftover of my pattern, but this is all I have. Eight inches or so. I mean, it's wide enough, barely. It's only eight inches of pattern, so I'm thinking I might just do it all in blue, but I'm kind of out of time. I got to run. Uh, I told uh, the hot air balloon company I crew for that I crew today, so um, I got to run, get uh, meet the passengers, and help put a balloon up and back down and stuff. Uh, I got my 3D printer running. It's just starting now, so that run overnight. I think it's an eight-hour print. I think, yeah. Uh, trying to do something I want to do in ASA, do it first in PLA, then I'll do it in ABS, and then I'll do ASA because it's the most expensive. Because so I failed four times now? Yeah, I think four times. Five times. I don't know, a lot of failure. Yeah, this is why I never get any projects done. I get somewhere, I get started and realize I didn't think of something, I didn't have the parts I needed, or I just ran out of time. And I did a little bit of everything today. So. Thanks everyone so much for watching to the end. Uh, I'm going to finish this stuff up, what I can do today, or this weekend. I'm going to do tomorrow off camera, so the, uh, the, the shoe rack will get finished up tomorrow. All I have to do is router the edge and finish painting. It's still a bit wet, so I can't do it right now. I'll have to do some more when I get home tonight and in the morning. And then... Uh, Decide if I want to make up some more pattern vinyl or just use plain blue. And get that done tomorrow. Not that it really matters. Just trying to get stuff out of the way. And uh, I did a lot of table saw work today so I don't need to use it for a while. I can put it back away and leave it away this time because it takes up a lot of room. 
this room is not that big. Anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching. Keep tinkering. See you next time.